The Riverview system is uh, set up mainly of uh, original family members that moved around to the area in the late 30s and have been growing and producing egg products ever since. I view it as more of a different type of a family operation. It's grown to include other families other than the original family. When my grandfather grew up in this area, the neighbors would get together and work together and thrash. And that's kind of how we've gotten back to now. People working together to produce the crops, to get the manure spread on the land, and get everything done in the right way so that the environmental stewardship and practices that are set up can all be fulfilled. There's about 6,600 total cows on this site. This barn has 2,500 cows, milking cows here. It's a naturally ventilated barn. It has curtains on both sides so that they can be open or shut depending on the weather. The uh, roof has some vents on the top that allow the heat to go out, but the airflow is where the key is. It's a cross-ventilated system. The fans are blowing the air out of the barn, which in turn sucks it in from the other side, and it's designed so that it pulls air across the cows. There's cow mattresses in each freestall. We use uh, separated manure solids for bedding. We used to use straw, but we find it, it saves money, and it's also uh, more comfortable for the cow, and the cows actually keep cleaner when you can go from buying straw to using the the solids. It's just a little bit of a recycling. The separation process, it's basically a screw press to where the manure gets fed into the separator and there's a screw pressing it and it squeezes the water out from the solids. And then at that point after the water separated off and pumped to the lagoon, then the bedding material gets stored in this shed. We bed heavily so that that cow has a very thick mattress and thick bed to lay down on. A happy, comfortable cow produces the most milk and gets bred back and just all the factors that go into a dairy all revolve around cow comfort. The cows are fed twice a day in these feed alleys. The ration we feed is made up of uh, corn silage, ground dry corn, ground raw soybeans, haylage, it's high protein, high energy. It has trace mineral pack from the feed company in it. The feed truck runs uh, 10 hours a day. We feed uh, three different rations. We feed a high mix, a medium mix, and a low mix ration, depending on the production of the cows. Cows are milked twice daily. Right here is the holding pen. This holding pen holds about 500 cows and that's about how many cows we can milk in an entire hour. The crowd gate is right here and it, it gently crowds the cattle forward. This is an 80 stall carousel, so 80 cows at a time. Once they get used to it, which takes about two or three days, they have no problem just walking on. They know the routine. They're ready for the relief of the milking. The cows come on the carousel and they are immediately sprayed with what we call a pre-dip by the first guy. He strips each teat, milks it out just a little bit to check for mastitis to ensure that the milk coming out of that udder is clean and safe. And then the second guy wipes down the udders with the towels and the third guy attaches the milking unit to the cow. And all the way around the other side, there's a fourth guy that's taking off milking units and doing the final post dip with the iodine solution. This is the what we call the direct load room. And the milk comes from the cow through the parlor, through the milk filters, through the chiller, and then directly onto the trailers where it goes to the processing plant. And there's a temperature sensor right there hanging on the wall that always keeps track of what the temperature of the milk is. This is 24 hours in a day and this green zone is where the temperature of the milk has to be and right now it's currently at 34 degrees going into the direct load. One of these trailers leaves here full every four hours. The calves are born at the dairy. That first day they're born they get colostrum here and then they go to the calf ranch. 
Using the hutches for managing the young calves, for us it works well because we can manage them as individuals. We can ensure that they have the proper amount of bedding, clean water, clean fresh starter feed or milk. They're ID'd so we can keep track of who's where and how long he or she has been there. It's important to keep everything tidied up and clean and in working order. Every week a row of hutches gets what we call tipped up and they scrape out the straw and then that gets pressure washed and disinfected and they get fresh bedding in on a regular basis and then going through the barns, the barn one is a straw floor barn that gets cleaned out every week and fresh straw put in every week and then there's a pit barn and that manure of course falls into the pit. The facilities have pavement around and between all the barns and that is to suppress weeds, to control the flies and dust control and also uh, we are required to collect the rainwater that falls and runs off the roofs. There is zero runoff on this farm. It's collected into stormwater ponds, stored and then pumped with, through irrigators onto the cropland during the cropping season. We scrape the pens twice daily and the manure goes from the day pit to the digester and the digester has enough capacity to hold manure for 21 days and in the digester it's heated up to around 100 degrees and at that temperature the manure makes methane the most efficiently. So then the methane gas is captured and it's burned through the internal combustion engines in the engine room which power generators and that electricity gets sold for green renewable energy back to the uh, electric company. And we're at about 2.1 megawatts right now at this site. We have what's called a biofilter that we designed in conjunction with the University of Minnesota. And it takes the gases off the day pit and pushes them through a medium of wood chips and leaves. And it reduces the odor by filtering the gases through the medium. Regardless of the size of the operation, whether small, medium, or large. Farmers have always been stewards of the land, and it's very important to us to maintain that high level of integrity with our records and with our neighbors and with the cows and with the whole thing. Cow comfort is the most important thing on a daily basis that we strive for in the dairy industry. We are proud to provide a safe, clean, and healthy product to our consumers both in this country and around the world.